guys welcome back to my channel so today i have a kind of exciting video for you guys it is going to be a collective haul now a lot of these items i did get probably since november up until now so it's kind of like a bunch of different stores all together um it's kind of a lot not really too too much because i've been trying to cut down on my shopping um but <laughs> i mean i still did a little bit of damage but they are kind of pieces that I can wear over and over again and kind of like style them with different outfits. So it's not like I'm just buying one item and I'm not really going to use it that often. It's like all these pieces are actually going to be used a ton and I have been using them a ton. But before we jump into this collective haul, I just want to let you guys know if you aren't already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. It will help me out so, so much. Also, if you want to get notified whenever I upload a new video, please hit that notification bell down below. And also, if you do enjoy these kind of videos, please give it a big thumbs up. So let's jump right into this haul. So it's going to be in very random order because I just have a pile of stuff on the floor next to me. And I kind of don't want to separate them by store. So it's just going to be random. I'll let you know what stores they're from when I show you each item, but we're gonna start with this first one, which is actually from Target. Now Target had an amazing, amazing sale, like on everything last weekend. I don't know if it's still like that, but my sister actually found this bag first. Um, I found like three different bags, but I think I put back like most of them because I was like, I'm not really gonna wear them. And I have other bags that I still have yet to use. So I don't wanna go overboard, but she didn't want this one. So I kind of stole it because I kind of like the detail of it and it's pretty different and it looked really, really nice. Um, and really good quality, even though I know it's probably fake, but this is just this like Western style, like crossbody bag, I guess you would call it. Um, it looks just like this, has a long strap and it also has a belt loop on the back so you can actually just hook it onto your belt which is really really cool but it's like this nice like western detail and i really like it It looks really great quality and it is kind of spacious so you can carry this with these like festivals and whatnot um this is from the brand wild fable at target and this was originally 15 and i got it for 750 which is awesome because it looks really really nice like find this at top shop or something for like 40 bucks or more but it does fit my phone, which I'm really, really happy about because a lot of these bags that are like this, they're hard to fit, like these new phones that are like iPhone XS Max or whatever, but I don't think those ones can fit in here, but I have the iPhone 7 Plus and it fits. Like I just barely have to stretch it a little bit to close it, but it's really nice. Can't wait to start styling this. And once I do, I'll definitely share with you guys on my Instagram or even in a video upcoming but I'm very excited about this purchase. I love, love bags. It's like one of my favorite accessories. This next item you would have seen if you follow me on my Instagram. I'll have the link down below. If you aren't following me, you should because I do post a lot on there, especially in my stories. So when I'm not posting on hair, I do post on there a lot. So you guys can keep up with me. But I did post this in one of my Instagram photos of me wearing this. And it is this bright ass <laughs> shirt from Zara. And I believe this was like 16 or 17, which isn't bad because it's kind of like a fleece material. I don't know, it's much brighter, like more of like construction color yellow um, than what's showing up on the screen, but it's so nice and fuzzy. It's like a crop top, it fits really, really nice. And I'm just like into the bright colors recently. Like this color is just so nice. Like I wish I could wear it in the summer. I mean, I can wear this color in the summer, but I mean like this top because I love it so much but it's just really, really nice and I just love it a lot. So this was a really nice steal. I don't know if they still have it because a lot of these things, like I said, I got them back in 2018. So I don't know if they still have them in stock, but you can definitely check it out, see if they might still have it. But I love this top so much. Definitely wanna buy more items in this color. The next item I actually got when I was going shopping for Disney World and this I actually found at Old Navy. And it is just a New York Knicks t-shirt and I just picked it up because one I'm from New York two I've always wanted like a basketball t-shirt I don't know I know some things about basketball I played it in high school a little bit not on a team but like you know during gym so I kind of know some things but this is number six and it just has Porzingis in the back um, luckily I know who that is so if I was to wear it 
I can talk about it <laughs> if anyone asks me questions. But I really do like this. It was originally like $30 because it's like an actual um, like NBA t-shirt that they sell at Old Navy. But I got mine for like 18 bucks, which isn't bad. I kind of wish I could find like vintage ones, which I probably can, but I just want to pick this up now because I just really wanted it and it would look nice with some high-waisted jeans, like some vintage style jeans tucked in and some Nike sneakers, you know, can't go wrong with that. The next item is from H&M and it's just this chunky cable knit orange sweater with these big chunky sleeves. And I don't know, it's just knitted all the way down. I've worn this a couple times. It's so, so cozy and it's so nice. Like really, I don't know, it's like great quality. And this was like originally, I believe like 18 bucks or 20 bucks. And I only got it for $7 because H&M always has a great sale. So definitely check them out. But this is just so nice. I love the color. As you can see, I like orange a lot. So, this was just great and I'm gonna live in it forever and ever and ever and it's wearing pretty well because I've worn this like five times washed it like two times um, and it's like it hasn't even frayed or anything like no yarn or whatever they use for this it has like really got distressed or anything so really great quality when I was in Florida I actually went to TJ Maxx before we were gonna go to the airport because we had to check out by like 11 and then our flight was until like 5 p.m. So we had to find something to do. So we just went to TJ Maxx and the first thing I bought was this really nice soft like, I don't know what this material be called. It's almost like a velour sort of material, um, just knitted sweater and it's in this nice mauve pink color. It's really, really nice. Um, for these kind of sweaters, I don't really like short sweaters like this, so what I do is I just tuck them in a pair of jeans. I love tucking my sweaters in a pair of jeans. They're just, I don't know, just a really nice way to like edge it up a little bit. But this is so, so soft, so nice. Um, What's the brand? I don't know if the brand has a name. Romeo and Juliet Couture. I don't know, but this is really, really nice and soft and I don't know, it's weird rubbing myself like that, so I'm gonna stop now, but <laughs> this is a really great piece, and always check out TJ Maxx because they have amazing, amazing items that you can get for a really, really decent price, kind of like if you wanna buy sweaters at H&M, sometimes some of the sweaters do end up being like $30, $40, where at TJ Maxx, you can kind of find the same quality for like 15 or less, so it's really great. Check out TJ Maxx if you have one near your, or even Burlington Coat Factory. And then the next top that I got from there, actually I did go to Burlington Coat Factory. I don't think it was TJ Maxx, yeah it was Burlington, but TJ Maxx also has great items as well. Um, and then I just got this black turtleneck. It's just a basic, you know, black long sleeve turtleneck that is just a staple in my wardrobe. I know a lot of people don't like turtlenecks, kind of reminds me of Steve Jobs, especially if it's black like this. But I just think it's a staple for me. You can wear it with some light washed denim jeans and some nice black booties. Or you can actually make it elegant, put a blazer on top of it and wear some slacks and you'll look really cute. But I really like this. I think this was like 10 bucks, which is really nice. And this was from the brand Grace. I don't know what brand that is, but you know how Burlington and TJ Maxx works. They have these random brands that you don't know anything about, but they work just great. So <laughs> I really like those two sweaters. So, so nice. Then going back to Target, I got this shirt, which I actually wore my last video, my updated um, everyday makeup routine. And it's just this checkered flannel. And it's really, really, really thick. Like, I love this. That's what kind of like drawn me to it. This is, I believe, from the plus size section of the Wild Fable brand. And this is in a 1X. Um, but I just got it because I do like my stuff super duper oversized. So that's the only reason why I get a large size like that. Um, but of course it's probably meant to be fitted because when I saw my size, it was really like fitted and I didn't want it to look like that. I kind of wanted it as like an over shirt and this was really, really nice. And I just love the color. I love the color green also. So this was a really good pick and it was also on sale. I believe this was like $7. So that's really nice because it's so warm and like such great quality. Like it's really durable. So yeah. So I'm definitely going to be wearing this a lot as well, but you guys already see me wearing that and it's great. From H&M about two months ago, I actually needed a pair of boots and 
I always struggle with finding boots that I can wear with multiple things because I'll buy like these little chunky boots and they don't look right or with everything. They look a little bit too edgy and I buy boots like Doc Martens and they're a little bit too rough and then I buy fancy boots and I can't really wear them casual either. So I needed a boot that I knew I can wear with every single item in my wardrobe and the type of style I was going for was the sock boot. I've always wanted a pair of those because my calves are really, really big for my body. I'm like big boned down there. And my ankles, it's kind of hard to find boots that can go around my ankles and my calf. So I don't really get tall boots, like riding boots that often because they don't zip up for me. And then ankle boots, sometimes they kind of cut on my ankles and look really weird. So I knew the sock boot would be really comfortable because it's like a sock around your ankle and it doesn't really hurt or anything. So. At H&M, I picked up these bad boys, and they're just these like suede, I don't know, like polyester sort of boots. I don't know if I showed this in a haul video before or in like a blog video. I might have, but I'm going to share it again because I can't remember. But um, they're just like these really nice round, like round pointed to. I don't like when they're too pointy and I don't like when they're too round. So this is just a nice shape for me um, because my feet is really wide also. And the heel is about two inches, which is really comfortable to walk in. And of course, the ankle is a sock, like material and elastic. So they're really, really comfortable. Look so nice. You can wear them with jeans. You can wear them with work pants, a suit. You can wear them with sweaters or turtlenecks, like I showed you. They're just really nice, especially for a night out or even during a casual look, you can wear them. So these are super comfortable. These were about 35 bucks, but I wanted to splurge and I needed to get them, so I did. And they've been treating me so, so well, and they don't hurt my foot at all, so I love them. The next item is from Forever 21, and it's just these pair of black, like, clot jeans, kind of. This is in a size 25, which is the waist that, um, I guess they go by. But it's just these black washed denim jeans and they kind of go a little bit high-waisted kind of like a mid-rise but a little bit more on the high-waisted side and they go down to a wide leg and they're kind of like distressed at the bottom which I really really like so I can even wear them with those boots that I just showed you and they look really really cute because they are a little bit cropped they go a little bit high up um, at the ankle but I really love these and these were on sale for I believe like 10 bucks so I couldn't pass them up because it's like great quality and they fit really really nice so I have yet to style them but I will be soon even with a pair of Converse they would look really cute with like a high top Converse like I'm already, like I'm already imagining outfits in my head that's just how my mind works so whenever I go shopping I always just had to imagine outfits that I could put together I can't just grab and go that's why I take so long shopping in stores like you would never want to shop with me because I'm in there for hours just thinking of ways to put pieces together. The next item is from Target when I went on that little spree for like the sales section and all the sales they had going on and I just got this oversized sweater well it is from the plus size again it's a 2x and it's from the brand Ava and Viv and I love that brand so much but I feel like they're so expensive but luckily these were all on sale they had one in the color black but I went for this one which is a little bit bold because I know a lot of people aren't supposed to wear white like after Labor Day but I don't care anymore and it works for me so I got this color instead because I still look more elegant and it's just this like oversized for me um, cardigan like fuzzy sweater and it has like these gold button details which I really love and it kind of reminds me of like a Chanel-esque sort of top. I kind of wish I did get a smaller size though because I wanted to tuck it into my pants because I think with the gold buttons would look really nice with that v-neck shape but it's a little bit too big to do that but I do wear it closed and I wear it open and it works just fine and it's just so fuzzy and warm and I really really love it so I'm really happy about this pick. Definitely gonna style with some of these pieces that I showed you. Um, the next last three items are a coat and two bags. So I'm gonna show you the two bags first and I'll show you the coat because it's one of my favorite items out of this entire haul. So let's go with the bags first. So the first bag I got is from Forever 21 and it is just this burgundy like, I don't know, it's almost like designer style but like this embossed or I don't know like patterned slanted I don't know what kind of pattern this is 
but it's almost as if like you had a chevron pattern but it just goes one way but it's just this beautiful burgundy color and i love the gold detail on it it just makes it look so elegant and the strap is just a long strap um and then you just you can adjust it to how short you want it so you can wear it as a crossbody bag or just a regular shoulder bag and it actually has two pockets on the inside and it's really spacious for a night out and just a button closure that has a magnet but this is really nice i think this was about 22 bucks which i couldn't pass it up because i love this color like i'm in love with like this burgundy oxblood color and i just had to pick it up i'm never a designer bag person like you'll never find me wearing designer bags like i don't know if i'm ever gonna buy one maybe when i'm really like old but right now i'm rocking the forever 21 and zara bags because they work just as fine and the second bag that i got is actually from top shop and i got this when my friends came up to visit me um back in november and it's just this fluffy red bag from top shop like i said <laughs> and it just has this nice like fuzzy strap um i feel like i did show you guys this but i'm gonna show you guys again because i don't care <laughs> and i don't remember when i last showed you but yeah it's just this nice fluffy bag it has this black strap with these silver chain very very edgy you can really rock this like a biker look um and it just opens up the flap right here and you have a lot of space inside it's kind of like the cheetah print bag that i got from top shop um i'm in love with these kind of style bags and it's so fuzzy i'm into like fuzzy textures like it's so so nice but i really love this one it was about 50 bucks which is a little bit pricey for me for a bag because I buy so many but I just couldn't pass it up. It was just so nice and very different from what I've seen before so love this. And the last item I have to share is a jacket that I've been loving now. My sister actually bought a jacket like this from Pretty Little Thing and ever since like I've always seen them and I just thought I couldn't pull them off because I feel like they're so bulky and like I feel like my shoulders for my body is kind of like broad. So I just didn't know and they were always so expensive, like a hundred plus for a jacket that I know that I'm not going to want to wear again. But now that I have it, I know I'm going to wear it a million more times, even the years and years and years to come. But she bought one and in the exact same color, I could have got a different color, but I just had to go classic black. But she actually bought one from Pretty Little Thing and after that I was like, okay, I'm sold. Let me see if I can find one, but I don't want it to be too similar because of course... You know we work together so i don't want to be walking around like a twin so i try to wear it when i'm like hoping she's not gonna wear it but i got mine from misguided and this one was actually because misguided had this great sales like they always have like 30 percent off or whatever so mine was 90 bucks i think and i think i got it for like 50 dollars which was a steal and it's just this black aviator style jacket would you look at that i know a lot of people buy the brand um arrivals or the arrivals and they make jackets just like this but those are so expensive and i'm probably never gonna buy one but this one is just as great quality i believe it's vegan i don't think it's real leather of course i feel like it would be more pricier if it was but it has like this faux fur trim and this like pleather detail and then like the chest has the faux fur then it goes back down to the pleather and then on the back just like the shoulder blades have you know the full feather the buckles on the side it's just a nice nice fit and i love this jacket so so much i could have gotten a size eight i got a size six because this is from the petite size now they did have it in the regular size so i feel like if i got a six in the regular size it would have fit a little bit like looser but i got a six in the petite because i was kind of scared but it fits really well like it's still oversized for me but like putting my hands in my pockets i feel like i'm struggling a little bit it's not too bad but i feel like i could have got a little bit of a bigger size but it's fine because i still love it i'm still pretty tiny so it doesn't really matter it probably looks big on me already and i'm just thinking that it looks small but i love this jacket pretty little thing misguided fashion nova i'm pretty sure they all sell jackets like this even aso so you can find this jacket anywhere and in all different colors um asos had this super like bright fuchsia one that i wanted but i knew i would never wear it but it was just really really nice 
Um, but yeah, I'm so happy about this purchase. I wear it all the time now. It's really, really warm, so it could work as a winter coat, but it's just such a nice jacket, and I'm so happy that I picked it up. So guys, those are all the items that I have to share with you. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul, and I hope you guys check out some of these stores because they are amazing stores, always having sales, and I'm definitely going to be checking it out soon. Not right now, but probably in the next couple months or even like during my birthday, I'm going to get back into my shopping mode. Um, especially for springtime. But once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.